Happy, happy birthday, happy Jacob. Birthday. Chris Bumstead here. I'm sad I couldn't meet you, but if I see you, hope you have a great birthday and hope you're doing well, man. Thank you so much. You have inspired him. I have no idea who you are, but I think you're <laughs> right. kind of, like beautiful. Thank you so much. Of course, yeah. Come on, come on, Chris. And come on, come on. Still four times. Come on, Olympia. let's go. Finish Chris strong. Bumstead. What is up, YouTube? We officially made it to Columbus, Ohio, 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 for the Arnold Classic. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, and we arrived to put beautiful Mega Fit meals. They got the new green box, very fancy. We got a bum box too. It says bum somewhere in there, you know. So never miss a meal. Okay, so for that, we're gonna check in our rooms right now. Maybe get some fun later. Get some good food. Good Calvin doesn't trust that we know what good fun is. I guess we'll find out. But yeah. We're gonna be traveling around, meeting people, shaking hands, kissing babies, and living the dream. So stay tuned. All right, first order of business: make sure your door closes when you leave the hotel room. Second order of business: we went to this amazing pho place last year, and like I said, Kevin's excited to go because his mom makes a delicious pho. Did your mom or grandma make better pho? Oh, uh, my grandma. Makes your grandma makes better pho. She makes good pho, so probably not that good. But it's still really good. So we're gonna go snack and eat because all we like to do when we travel is get good food. Because what better thing is there to do in this world than eat? So you lied to me. I you lied said this to is pho, and This is ramen. Yeah, it's ramen. I forgot. That's my bad. But I like ramen better, so. They're all laughing at me. What's that, what's that dish that Naruto eats? Ichiraku ramen. Yeah, this, this is the Naruto dish. That's why I actually really loved it. But you took out the, the most important part. The mushroom? Yeah. I'm gonna save it for later night. We're gonna have a spiritual experience before bed. Okay. Gonna enter the you know Naruto fish cake. What? He gave you no fish cake. Yeah. Brutal. Slacking. Slacking. Oh, I know exactly what you're There was one where like, yeah. it just was straight. This is something like that, man. I'm gonna clear cover anywhere so you want Yes. Can you eat your food or are you just going to let it sit there and get all moldy you, and then... heat it up for me? No. Please? Nope. Go do it. Brian, go heat up his food. I have to eat. Me? Yeah. Bro, my allergies are still bad here. I thought they'd go away if I left Florida. But it's all kicking me yeah, in the ass here. Everyone's going to be like, Chris, you're so high, bro. And I'm going to be like, how high, bro? I'm going to be that high, bro. Yeah, I'm going to think I'm high, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Bodybuilder smokes wed. Smokes wed? Wed. Smokes wed. Wed. What? Wed. Oh, weed. Fuck, he's high, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to film me until I'm uncomfortable, so I act high. Uh, yeah, that's, that's it for today, folks. We got some meetings tomorrow, because we got to slang some protein and some bomb treats and some bomb energy. So we're going to be doing some meetings with distributors, and then I'm going to have a seminar with Hani, then I'm going to have a meet and greet, and then signatures and then dinner it's gonna be a long ass day so gotta go to bed soon we'll see you guys tomorrow transition every clip like this no and the next time we'll go like this so did you sell it yeah i mean they've loved everything they were hooked on literally everything dom is a fucking what's that word what's the, what, what's the jokes that they always say you could sell you like whatever you could picture you know a salesman no there's, there's those joke joke people always say i can't remember there's a really funny one they could sell anything to anyone but it's like a joke someone in the comments is going to tell me what it is and i'll remember it but he could sell anything to anyone. So they really liked it. They were super happy. We didn't even have any energy with us because it didn't make it a sin, but they still love the concept of it, the idea of it, the look of it. They love long treats, everything. So beautiful, good to go.
Check off number one, on to another one. What is this? What? What is this? The Cafe Misto. Okay, what is that? It's like a latte but with less milk. Your Courtney latte is half and half. This is like three quarters coffee. Courtney definitely showed yeah, you this. I think that's what it is at least. I might be wrong. But. Is it anabolic? It's like pretty much a black coffee with a little milk, but they steam the milk. So it's not like adding cold milk, they steam it. So it's not as heavy as like a latte? No. Is it anabolic? No. It's catabolic, but I'm too big, so I gotta lose some weight. <laughs> Jesus. Um, I feel like almost Yeah. Like in it, how in and out. I thought you were going to get two. You get a salad or a burger? I don't know which one it is. It's a little bit of both. It's a hybrid. Someone has to order if Courtney's not here. Someone has to order lettuce. <laughs> So I'm like eating shit, <laughs> horrible digestion, like a brutal. It was awful. Awful. What? 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 Is behind me? <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> I was just like, what am I going to do this time? <laughs> I thought you were going to... You should have scared me. I, I was going. I was going to. I was going to. But I was, I'm like, his cortisol spike will be saying it lasts so long. He's gonna hold water at the Olympia. I was <laughs> like, I can't do that. I'm <laughs> still worried about yeah. that. Man. <laughs> That's it. You know me. I'm worried What's about up? Things. How are you? Good. And it's mesmerizing. And it's something you don't forget. Can you use my uh, badge to get around. Mr. Bumstead, nice to meet you, man. How's it going? How are you? Yeah, good, thank you. I just need to let you know that you should retire soon because I'm coming into classic. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm going to retire you. I'm not ready. Yeah, I hope you are not ready. I will not be, no. <laughs> be excited to see you up there, though. Yeah, good, Interesting, man. yeah. I will, I will, yeah. I will. You're looking really well, mate. You're looking really fit, really healthy. Appreciate it. Yeah, it's trying. Good, it's good yeah. to see you, man. Thank good you. Yeah. Good to see you, too. So I'm transitioning. So going with the strong one, I'm transitioning to bodybuilding this year. Yeah. Hopefully doing a show like November, December time. Yeah. So um, I'm um, not going for the big Rami sort of look. I'm trying, trying to lean towards more the classic side. Yeah. So you never know. It'll be interesting to see for sure. What's the weight limit for classic? How tall are you? All right, I'm six foot two and a half. Probably 240. 240 pounds. Yeah. How it works, like, no, I end up totally more than what you got. Exactly, yeah. So 240. I think so. So, when you turn pro, you get an extra 10 pounds. Okay, right, okay. Yeah. So, I'm, two, I'm 375 pounds now. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm going to lose 135 pounds. Yeah. Do you reckon I can do it? If you... You tell me. <laughs> you won't be eating very much, that's for sure. Well, I know that. I mean, yeah. that's, that's the one thing I'm not looking at. I'll have a cheesecake too much. No more cheesecake, no pizza, none of that good shit. A lot of shredded lettuce, too. <laughs> yeah. Shredded lettuce? Yeah. Add it to every meal for volume. Fucking hell. I usually just like add half a tin of mayonnaise on the top of the meals now. Sadly, no mayonnaise. Bastard. Well, this is invaluable information. <laughs> there you go. The secrets, yeah. <laughs> all, you'll need all of them. Okay, so end of the year. So just get ready to, like, fuck off the stage when I walk on, yeah? Give me one more year, maybe, and then I'll let you have it. No, I'm coming in this year, This man. year? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I'm sorry, it's got to be done. Fair enough. It's got to be done. I'll have to work a little harder. <laughs> nice to meet you. Yeah, you too. You know what the best part about hanging out with Chris is? You see how he has to put his name on his jacket just because nobody will know who he is unless he has his name on his jacket.
Thank you. Okay, happy birthday, Jake. Oh, shit. Oh, the wrong way. What's his name? Jacob. It's for his 16th birthday. Excuse me. Oh, she's fine. Oh, she's fine? I don't oh, Jacob? Sorry about that. Jacob Michael. It's, I brought him here for his 16th birthday. Happy birthday, Jacob. Chris Bumps in here. I'm sad I'm going to meet you, but if I see you, hope you have a great birthday and hope you're doing well, man. Thank you so much. You have inspired him. I have no idea who you are, but I think you're like... Beautiful. Thank you so much. Of course, yeah. Appreciate it. Thank you, everybody. Alright, so we just wrapped up seminar with Hani, photo op with people, <laughs> and autograph. I'm losing my mind right now, I just met a lot of people. But they're super organized here at the Arnold, so it's really nice. We had a VIP treatment, bring me in the back room. We had security walk me from place to place, which is really nice because I can't walk through the expo anymore. So it was very convenient and organized. Got through a lot of pictures. Everyone was super nice I got to meet. And yeah, so thank you guys for coming out, listening to the seminar, came to the photo op. I appreciate you guys. If you didn't make it in, trying to do a lot of events so I can get to meet you guys as much as possible. Very tiring for me, but it's definitely fun to actually meet you guys, put a face to some of the numbers on social media and all that stuff. I'm a more of a personal guy in person. So that's a wrap on day one. We are here at this place called Nada's Mexican food, because Mexican food is probably my favorite food group. It's absolutely delicious. Chips, guacamole, plantain chips, fajitas, tacos. You can eat it all day. So we're gonna chow down right now, fuel up, hopefully get to bed early, and pretty much repeat tomorrow. So that's a wrap on the day. Some of those guys, uh, they want to have the really beautiful proportions, the symmetry, the muscle separations, 
the great posing routine that you have. I mean, you know, I have seen pictures of you from far away and the silhouette is so fantastic. And that's really the quality of a physique is the silhouette. When you're far away, you know, on the beach, and you see someone and you see the delta, it's popping out, you see the abs, you see the calves, and you see all this great proportion. Rather than to see someone waddling down at the beach like that, you know, with 300 pounds. That's not where the action is. This is where the action is. And this is why you have so many millions of people admiring your physique and following you and all this stuff, and that's why you're successful. So I wish you all the greatest of the luck. You deserve it because you have a fantastic physique and you're the best. Thank you very much for being here today with us all. So Saturday morning, woke up this morning and apparently I had to do this thing at 8 a.m. and we had no idea what it was. I show up and it's something with Arnold, I guess. I'm like, okay, I mean, I'm not gonna complain if I get to see Arnold Schwarzenegger. And he comes in and he's like, I look at him, I'm literally like, do you know what we're doing here? He's like, I have no idea. <laughs> no, we had no idea what we were doing there. I was half asleep, hadn't eaten, no coffee in me. And then they threw us out there and just had to, I guess, talk to kill time to kind of start the show and give the VIP ticket holders like a, I don't know, an experience to listen to Arnold talk. And yeah, it was pretty cool, honestly, being up there and chat with him. I'm honestly very honored that they like chose me to put up there. Bob Chicarello, Chicarello was kind of like emceeing it. And then me and Arnold chatted up there for a bit, mainly just Arnold talking because he's a goat. It's a show. People here just listen to him. But it was cool to be able to stand up there with him. So. Not a bad way to start Saturday morning, but back here in the good old Hyatt Hotel for your the Arnold, you know exactly where I'm at right now. We have another meeting at 10 a.m. today. I think that's it for meetings today. And then I have the meet greet signatures again. And then that's it for today. Repeat tomorrow. So that's the Arnold Classic for you. We're literally you training. What? Are you training? If we have time today, I want to work out. I probably have time after this to work out between 10 and 3, 10:30 and 3 or whatever. So maybe try and get a workout in this this new gym here called American Barbell that opened up and apparently it's really cool. I saw Earth training there, so we might try and check that out. But uh, yeah, that's about it. We're gonna be chilling today. We're gonna get some Starbucks. Maddie's gonna get it. We're hiding upstairs. And yeah, also, oh, I classic physique wrapped up last night. And Ramon looked pretty fucking nutty, I'm not gonna lie. Definitely more shredded than he was at the Olympia last year. So last year, this year, whatever the fuck you wanna call it. But he looked really good happy for him he seemed like you watched his acceptance speech he was like in shock with gratitude and like just appreciation for the moment and I just love seeing that in someone like he was like he was hilarious he, Ian posted on a story he's like shit's crazy man shit's crazy <laughs> he didn't speak English very well and he was just so excited to be up there with Arnold so it was really cool to watch I'm happy for him Earth came second no surprise there he looked really good too looked a little bit off I think something gotta happen to him before the show but still to the fact that him being a little off coming second at the Arnold super impressive so it was cool. And Mike the Badass, Mike Summerfield, I knew I knew what it was. He came third, I believe. So that's top five of the Olympian, third at the Arnold. He had stapling his place in the top five class of right now. So he looks really good. And then I think Alex Cameronero was in fourth. So, you know, really good lineup. And it was cool to see. I didn't get to watch the show, sadly, but they all looked really good. So happy for them. Love me some classic physique. Now we're gonna get some food, go on about the day. So I'll see you guys. Crack open a cold one, brother. In light of our uh, meeting this morning that was revolved around energy, I'm gonna crack open a bum energy. Have I shown this on YouTube yet, actually, no, officially? The first, the first YouTube appearance of bum energy. Well, look at this beautiful can. It actually is really beautiful. It took us a fucking minute to make it, but it looks really good. This is our new energy drink coming. We're doing it like a beer style can, so it looks cool. We're gonna maybe put it in like beer boxes in the future. It's got like that little vintage, re vintage retro look to it. Got how much exact caffeine did they have in it? I would say 112. Did it 112? Yeah. 112. I was right. 112 milligrams of caffeine, so it's the equivalent of like a large 12 ounce cup of coffee. But it's not one of those things where you blast your face off with 300 milligrams of caffeine. That's what pre-workout is for. But this is more of a casual sipping energy drink that you can have multiple a day and not feel bad about yourself. And it tastes literally like orange soda, like out of a fountain at McDonald's. Or soda. And we also have cherry slush flavor, which tastes like a uh, white, red cherry slush frost thing, but it tastes delicious. So we're gonna caffeinate ourselves, get to the gym, 
get a quick workout because we gotta be back here in like two hours, so let's be on the road. I hate public gyms. <laughs> All right, so we're here at this random Esporta slash LA Fitness. I don't know what gym it is. I'm gonna try and bang up some shoulders. So I'm probably not gonna talk much through it, but you guys know the typical drill. I'm gonna try and bang on a lot of rear delts because Hani told me to focus on that this off season. So a bunch of rear delts, a little bit of shoulders, a quick 45 minute workout. And then we gotta get to the expo. So I'm hoping that I don't get bothered too much and I can finish this workout quick. Wish me luck. Alright, so I'm not venturing over to the dumbbell section because it's too busy over there. So it's going to be a machine cable kind of workout. Did some rear delts, cable flies, cable lateral raises are my favorite lateral raises to do anyway. I'm going to do this machine only because the other machine's taken. Finish with a plate loaded machine. 
and then we'll see what time it is. And if I have time for one more Riedel, I'll do that and then skedaddle on out of here back to the expo. It's getting heavy when I put more weight on. This is like four. Yeah. It's actually a nice machine, I've never seen it before. <laughs> We're just gonna sprint. That makes sense. I'm gonna jump over the balcony.
one's gonna be the magic trick. Put a D, still a done. Run away. All right, kids, that's gonna be wrap on today's shoulder workout. Thank you for watching. Gotta head back to the expo. Make sure Calvin doesn't fall down the stairs. She got a decent 45 minute pump. And we're not gonna be late, maybe. Actually, we're probably gonna be late. But yeah, the wrap on the workout. Raw merch. See you guys in an hour. That is like, it's like chocolate milk. Cookies and cream? Try it. That's chocolate milk. That is so good. So that one's good. Vanilla. That's not, that's not good. I don't like vanilla though. Yeah. That is delicious. This is really good, yeah. Can you read that? Can you? One, three, one, two. Did I get it right? Read Braille. Jack of all trades, master of none. What's in your sign language? <laughs> That's it. So that's a wrap on day two of Signature. Hey, what's up? Calvin throws the camera on me, hoping that people don't stop me. It doesn't often work. So we're gonna try and try and cross the street, talk to the camera, and kill time. It was the wrap on day two of Signatures. That was a longer day, but it was a beautiful day. They're very organized, so moving quick. I'm starving, so we're gonna go get some steak. Did she say Jesus? Jesus. <laughs> we're almost running to her. But yeah, so we're gonna eat, and I'll see you guys later or tomorrow. I don't know, but sayonara. Senorita. What is he doing? That's all he gave us. Is that how he No, that's supposed to be birthday cake. No. He probably ate all the good ones. I was just like, he's just snapping on them while he's in line waiting. He's like, I guess he can just have the rest of them. <laughs> Tastes like home? A little stale, honestly. Yeah. We'll I, didn't it I, didn't think, I didn't think it through. I was like, ah, oh, shit. He's not going to be able to touch the box for like at least an hour. They're still good. You can tell they didn't have a bakery in the back of that one. <laughs>